Last time I was in a pirate ship of some variety. And uh, before I head out of it and go back to my regular business in Atlantis, I want to head through this pipe here. Kind of an annoying, tight, uh, tedious thing. Anyway, it said water supply pipe to Glitter Gulch Mine. Because do you remember why we would need to go back there? This playthrough has been going pretty quickly, so you probably do. But in case you don't, that's why. Hooray! Got all the greens. I think the first time I ever played the, this game, uh, the greens were the first or the last family that I reunited. But I don't really remember. Anyway, now we gotta go through it again. Hooray! Uh, we did get a controller, or like a USB controller in the mail. I don't know when. I want to say today, but like it wasn't really today because it was probably sitting in the mailbox for days without us noticing because nobody ever checks the mail. But, uh, I'm half tempted to use that, because the swimming controls in this are so cruddy, but, uh... I was using it before, and I don't like it very much. It, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end up having to use it for Ape Escape whenever I do that game, but, um... The, my finger slips off the stick all the time, and I just don't like controllers that much. I'm better with the keyboard. Anyway... Here's the warp pad for no real reason. There's not any time you would want to come back here that I am aware of. And we got another octopus. No surprise there. I'm not sure why I'm going back this way. I could just take the warp that I just activated. Or die. That works too. Come on, hit... There we go. Um, okay, now we're back here. Let's see, what buildings have we not gone in yet? This one. Ah. What am I doing here? Okay, I gotta break this open with the torpedo, so let's do that. And, do I remember which one this is? Yes, I do. Because this is a very useless room. Uh, this is what it showed in the puzzle which is stupid because there's nothing in here except for there's a Jinjo in here and there it is except not really and there is also a Cheeto page which you normally cannot get until much later when you have the glide move but, because of Banjo's double jump that isn't meant to be in the game, you can get it a lot earlier. So I'm going to do that. You just go over here, and you go all like a herp, and there you go. I like how when you pick it up, he's like, Ugh. I can't do the, vo the noise that he makes, it's weird. Whatever. Let's just get out of this place. Stop it! God damn it, I'm gonna die. Can I kill these? My cousin said that his friend told him that there was a secret with these eels. You have to give them a peanut, and then they give you something. People make up the stupidest codes. Okay, did that. Did that one. Did that one. I think that's all of them. So, let's, uh... Head back. No, I'll do that later. Never mind. Uh, get away from the puffer fish. Let's just head through this tunnel over here. Haven't been through here yet. Down here is a globo, and you know what that means. It means that Wumba's wigwam has got to be within t like 10 feet of this, so... Look for that as soon as I do this, because... Figured. Yep, there's the one that has the jiggy. I thought there were actually two of those in here. Maybe not. Because there's still one with a Cheeto page floating around somewhere. I have a feeling where it is, but I don't 
know exactly for sure, so whatever. Let's just go ahead and head in here. Go through the standard rigmarole. I'm not sure what's stopping the magic pink pool from leaking into the rest of the water, but it does. And now we've got a submarine, which is moderately cool. It's still kind of disappointing that there aren't any animal transformations. It would be cool to be like a swordfish, like it could be a callback to Donkey Kong. It could turn into On Guard or something, I don't know. That, that Then it would be the same as Donkey Kong 64, though, so I guess the submarine's cool. Anyway, it can shoot torpedoes. It's got an unlimited supply of them, just like the Blue Marine from uh, Star Fox, and it also has a Sonic Ping move, which you will never use, ever. Yeah, obviously, it won't let you warp outside. Anyway, here in the Locker's Cavern, um... Yeah, there... Ah! That noise is really loud. I could fight the boss as the submarine, and people actually usually do that because it's a bit easier. But since this is sort of a challenge run, I'm not going to do that. I'm looking at these lockers to see if uh, I recognize some of these names. I don't so far. I know some of the rare people, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I figured Grant Kirkhope would be in here. Um... David Wise, what's, who's the composer? I said his name in the description yesterday, is it David Wise? Something Wise. Anyway, here we got the standard, uh, shooting minigame. It's very easy. I could probably hold this, I could probably use the speed up key here, but I won't. Just... And they, these things respawn, too, so it's not like there's a finite supply of them. My teacher in, like, th something th fourth grade, I think, had, like, this mnemonic device for remembering how to pronounce a certain word, and they, she said, like, just think of it as, like, how you would pronounce finite because you wouldn't pronounce that wrong, and I'm um, thinking to myself, actually, yes, I would, because until you said that word, I always thought that it was pronounced finite, because it's, like, infinite, but it's not. I'd never heard it spoken before, I've only read it. So, that was a terrible mnemonic device you've got there. Anyway, very easy game, like I said. Get the jiggy and head out. No, I don't. It wasn't that interesting the first time. You can't go in there as Banjo or Kazooie because it says that the... Wait, what the... There's two of them in here. Oh, never mind, I knew that. One of them had the honeycomb piece, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's warp out of here. Uh, there is a trick, actually. You can take the submarine out onto dry land if you get past the octopus with it because it lets you go up, like, the ramp it's... I'd show it if it wasn't a huge waste of time. I might show it at the start of the next segment. Like, right now I'm just trying to head back and get something else accomplished today. So, uh, speed up again. I'm just gonna do this whole level with the speed up, okay? It's the only way that I'll have any chance of finishing it in a decent amount of time. And, uh, let's get onto this warp pad, if the game will let me. There we go. Warping back to town, just so I can jump back in and go down this way, because it's a bit faster than going the other way. Finally gonna check out that UFO, so let's bust open the door. And head on in. If the game will let me. Again, it's being kind of a douche about that. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the door. Come on. That, you couldn't let me have that? So, in here, we've got some aliens. 
And no, none of them are called Elvis. They're Alf, Betty, and Gamma, but uh, I'm going to skip through this. It's not important. Uh, there's actually four aliens, so chances are one of them is, in fact, named Elvis. Anyway, uh, they need crystallized something to power their ship, which means ice. So you just got to shoot all of these before time is out, which is very easy to do. And there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad the aliens don't have too much to do, but they will show up again later. Uh, if I can find the exit. I always have trouble finding the exit in this place. There it is. Anyway, I'm going to start the next segment with the cutscene when they leave, because I'm out of time, so see you for that.